Hi guys, welcome again. And this is the video about biological properties of the soil. In the previous video, we discussed about the uh, first group of microorganisms, which is the bacteria. In this video, we are going to further discuss the other group of microorganisms, such as, such as actinomycetes, um, the blue-green algae, fungus, virus, uh, nematodes, uh, earthworms. So I hope you uh, you will find time to, to listen to this video because uh, this video is also very informative. And uh, I hope you also find time to, to watch the previous video because uh, in that video, uh, we discuss about the the importance of uh, bacteria and at the same time there was also some slides bonus slides about uh, fertilizer uh, recommendation sana makatulong din yun sa inyo as you prepare for the upcoming licensure examination and uh, who knows uh, magagamit nyo rin tong video na to in your in your future professional work or Kahit ano pa man. So, we'll discuss now the second group of microorganisms, which is the actinomycetes. So, this is the second group of soil microorganisms. Some people, they call it actinomycetes or the others call them actinomycetes. So, I don't know the correct pronunciation of these so organisms, guys. So, what are actinomycetes? These are uh, organisms which belongs to intermediate group between bacteria and fungi. They are present in large group and widely distributed in soil. And its abundance is next to bacteria. So there's around 104 to 108 organisms per gram of soil. And uh, what is distinct about these microorganisms, uh, the actinomycetes, because uh, they form thread-like filaments in the soil and are responsible for characteristically earthy smell of freshly turned healthy soil. Yung amoy na lupa ng freshly turned healthy soil. So, siya yung responsible nun. And 70% of soil actinomycetes are streptomyces, erythromycin, also belongs to this group and most of them are many of them are known to produce antibiotics that's why it's one of the important uh, group of microorganisms in the soil but then they are sensitive to acidity so the critical ph uh, for this microorganism is 5.5 ph they have uh, the largest uh, population in the surface layer of soil and it gradually decreases with the depth. So as, uh, as soon as uh, lumalalim na lum lumalalim yung pagbungkal mo na lupa or pag pagtrabaho mo sa lupa, yung population ng actinomycetes ay nagdi-decrease. Uh, individual actinomycetes strains are present in all soil layers. Yun nga lang, as you go deeper into the soil profile, medyo lumiliit or kumukunti na yung population ng actinomycetes. So mostly, although present siya in all uh, soil layers, but then as you go deeper, kumukunti yung kanyang population. Um, actinomycetes in the soil are mesophilic organisms that are sensitive to acidity. Nasabi ko nga kanina, yung pH level um, niya ay nasa 5.5. And its optimum pH range is within 6.5 to 8. And they're also sensitive to waterlogged soil conditions. So pag, pag basang basa yung lupa mo at saka saturated siya ng tubig, hindi rin siya ganun kaganda yung kanyang population. Like other group of microorganisms, some actinomycetes might be pathogenic. Nagiging kosya ng ibang sakit sa mga tanin. And uh, it's very important because they all contribute to the carbon cycle by fixation through photosynthesis and decomposition. Kaya ang actinomycetes is one of the most important uh, microorganisms in the soil. It decomposes complex and more resistant organic substance like humus and they produce several dark black to brown pigments which contribute to the dark color of the soil humus 
resulting to production of many extracellular enzymes, hydrolytic enzymes, which are conductive to crop production. So, siya yung nagiging responsible for the dark black to brown pigments ng humus. They also possess direct or indirect mechanisms that favor plant growth kasi ini-improve niya yung availability ng nutrients and minerals and they also synthesize plant growth regulators. It also inhibit the growth of several plant pathogens in the rice sphere and they have the ability to act as biocontrol tools. So, isa to sa kagandahan ng actinomycetes. And, um, Remember in the previous uh, video, we discussed about uh, bacteria. There are some bacteria which are uh, has the ability to fix nitrogen, like for, for, exa for leguminous scraps and also for the non-leguminous scraps. So, example dun ay yung rhizobium for leguminous scraps, while sa non-leguminous scraps ay katulad din na yung azotobacter. And then, the actinomycetes, they associate with some non-leguminous plants and fix nitrogen, which is then available to both the host and the plants in the near surroundings. And it also serves as a biological control of soil environments by nitrogen fixation and degradation of high molecular weight compounds like hydrocarbons in the polluted soils. And it is also known to improve the availability of nutrients, minerals, enhance the production of metabolites, and promote plant growth regulators. Actinobacteria do not contaminate the environment, but they help sustainably in improving soil health through the formation and stabilization of compost piles, the formation of stable humus, and combined with other soil microorganisms in breaking down the tough plant residues such as cellulose and animal residues to maintain the biotic equilibrium of soil by cooperating with nutrient cycle. We mentioned before that actinomycetes uh, is a group of uh, microorganisms which is in between bacteria and fungus. So, na mention natin yung positive effect. Ano naman yung kanyang negative effect? Some products of actinomycetes might affect the microorganisms of the soil, leading to decreased diversity. Kung masyadong marami na yung actinomycetes in the soil, meron siyang negative effect dun sa ibang microorganisms, kaya lumiliit yung diversity ng microorganisms present in the soil. Pathogenic species of actinomycetes result in plant diseases that affect plant health, and crop loss. Kasi meron namang mga microorganisms na nagkukos ng sakit and some of the species of actinomycetes can cause diseases which can lead to the death of the plants. Those are the uh, positive and the negative effect of uh, actinomycetes. Now we'll go to the third group of microorganisms and that is the fungi or fungus. Soil fungi are eukaryotic organisms which can be unicellular but often are more multicellular. So marami siya mga cells. Compared to bacteria, fungi have more complex morphologies and life cycles. Yeast are single cell fungi that reproduce asexually through budding. So ito yung isa sa mga characteristic ng fungus, madali siyang mag-reproduce. Mag Most other fungi have high branch filaments which strands 2 to 30 mm in diameter and several centimeters long. Most fungi are aerobic, meaning kailangan nila ng hangin, oxygen, except for yeast because yeast can survive in anaerobic environments by fermenting sugars into alcohol. In many ecosystems, fungi constitute the largest biomass of all the soil organisms, ranging from 500 to 5,000 kilograms per hectare.
So, ito ang isa sa mga pinakamaraming uh, biomass in the soil of all the soil organisms. And individual fungus can include many fruiting bodies scattered across a large area with extensive underground hyphae. Fungi found in soil fall mostly within three groups. So there are three groups of fungi. Uh, the decomposers, the mutualists, which are the mycorrhizal fungi, and the pathogens. Some of the common fungi found in soil include Amanita, Tricholoma, Turandia. Ito uh, yung pinaka-common, Phytophthora, Rhizoctonia, and Phytium. And remember, those... Um, these uh, organisms are also one of the uh, source of pathogens, is a pathogens which cause diseases to most of some of the crops. Di naman most of the crops kasi may mga plants na very, very susceptible to Phytophthora, Rhizoctomia, and Phytium. Unlike uh, actinomycetes, fungi prefer a rather low soil pH. So, gusto ng fungi yung acidic yung lupa, yung medyo maasim yung lupa. And a wide CN ratio. And they dominate in raw humus and mother and mole soils. So, pag, pag uh, very raw pa yung humus, bagong humus pa lang, fungi yung masyadong nagdodominate dun sa humus na yun. And we also have the mycorrhizal fungi. They are mostly found around plant roots, whereas other groups of fungi are found distributed throughout the soil. Fungi in general tend to dominate over bacteria and actinomycetes in acidic soil as they can tolerate a wider range of pH levels. What are the positive effects of fungi in the soil? Just like other microorganisms, fungi play essential roles in the soil where they help in nutrient cycling, water dynamics, and disease suppression, resulting to maintenance of soil health and increased crop yield. The hyphae of the fungus, or fungi, they bind to the soil particles together and they stabilize soil aggregates. That's why when you apply a lot of organic matter in the soil, the aggregation of the structure of your soil is also improving. Be it's because of the functions of different microorganisms in the soil, particularly the hyphae of the fungi, because it binds the soil particles together and it stabilizes soil aggregates. Fungi also form beneficial mycorrhizal symbiosis with almost all terrestrial plants. The mycorrhizal fungi enhance the uptake of mineral nutrients like phosphorus and zinc, to the plant in exchange for carbon compounds fixed by plant photosynthesis. And they are important decomposers of organic matter in the soil, wherein they use nitrogen in the soil to decompose woody carbon residues. The large size of fungi protects plants against pests, diseases, and drought. And the they also produce uh, antibiotic compounds such as penicillin and cyclosporin. And there is a symbiotic association of a fungus and lichens, as well as in the algae or a cyanobacterium, which are important soil colonizers that play critical roles in soil formation and stabilization. When we talk about the positive, of course, we also have to talk about the negative effect of fungi in the soil. Some group of fungi, the pathogenic group, results in various plant diseases by penetrating the plant tissue and creating a weakened nutrient deficient plant. So, nagkukos siya ngayon ng sakit sa ibang mga tanim Kasi pinepenetrate ng fungi ang tissue ng mga tanim. And by that, nagiging mahina at kulang ngayon sa nutrient yung tanim. And in worst scenario, nagiging kosya ng death ng mga pagkamatay ng mga tanim. It also affect the interaction between plants 
which change the competitive balance between two species. Kung minsan, may mga competition na nangyayari between plants and some of the fungi has an effect to those plants. The mycorrhiza and fungal pathogens also affect seedlings, resulting in harmful consequences for plant population dynamics. So those are the negative effects of fungi and soil. Of course, maraming positive, yun nga lang, meron ding mga negative, but then you cannot, that's the problem with, uh, when you work with microorganisms, you cannot select the organisms na ito lang organism na to ang pwede magiging present sa lupa. No, you cannot choose it. That's why it's so difficult to manage uh, uh, microorganisms in the soil. So that ends our video today. So we discussed uh, actinomyces and fungi. Please watch out for the next video, which we are going to discuss blue-green algae, protozoa, and the remaining of the soil microorganisms. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and it will help me a lot. And you can also like this button if you like this and share it to your friends who are also preparing for the upcoming board examination in agriculture. See you next time. Bye.